Hi, Broadway.com, and welcome to episode four of the Godspell Blob. Um, so many cool things have happened since episode three. We've actually had a couple of fun visitors come and see the show. The first person that came was um, Carl Deichler. Now, you guys might not know who Carl Deichler is, but he's the CEO of Beachbody, and Beachbody is responsible for the exercise programs P90X and P90X2 and Insanity, and when I was on the road with Rent, it was the first time that I was introduced to all of these crazy workouts, so we're, when we were on the road, we were all trying to stay in shape, and um, you know, a whole bunch of us, you know, got together and would work out in whatever city we were in, and we all got hooked on it. Well, Carl happens to be the biggest Godspell fan ever, so he came and saw our show and was so excited, and I got to meet him, and he left us some cool swag. Um, another really cool visitor we had was Perez Hilton, famous Hollywood blogger Perez Hilton. He came with Broadway favorite and television Glee 30 Rock favorites, Cheyenne Jackson. So we all got to meet them after the show as well. And um, so as you can see, it's been a pretty busy week here at the Godspell. And um, let's get to a, an Ask Godspell question. Just a slob like some of us, just a stranger. Oh, hi, hi, Broadway.com. So one of our Ask Godspell questions was, what is everybody's go-to shower song? Let's find out. Trying to make his way home. What's your go-to shower song? Right now? Yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Rubber Ducky? <laughs> Water Runs Dry by Boys to Men. <gasps> My go-to shower song is probably Don't Know Much, as sung by Aaron Neville and Linda Ronstadt. That's like, there's no, like, you listen to that song and it just puts you in just such a euphoric and lovely mood. It's Audra. It's definitely Dream Variations. Look at this face. I know the years are showing. <laughs> Look at these eyes. I still don't know where it's going. Give me, give me a couple of bars of Audra. <laughs> to fling my arms wide in some place of the sun. I don't know much. I don't know much. But I know I love you, oh, hot man, oh, ha, ho, ha, ha, ho, ho, ho. And that may be all there is to know. Hot man, oh, ha, ho, ha, ha, ho, ho, ho. I don't want to go on. I don't want to go on. I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> I'm obsessed. It's always an Audra for me. Um, I've, I sometimes make up songs. Um, it is um, Blue Skies. <laughs> Irving Berlin, Blue, Blue Skies. Blue Skies, smiling at me. I like to sing Blue Skies while I, you know, while I get my shower on. Here's the soap. Here's the shower. <laughs> Gonna scrub my hair for half an hour. What? I, don't I like the Ella Fitzgerald version that starts with that. Um, hi Kate. Hi Telly. The question of the week is, what is your go-to shower song? Ooh. Beautiful City. Beautiful City? <laughs> From Godsmell? Yes. Is it because you've been hearing it every night? Yes. What's your go-to shower song? It's actually playing like right now. It's Bootylicious by Destiny's Child. Simmer to the left if you're having a good time. Shake it to the right if you know that you feel fun. Shake it to the front. Ha ha! All right. Ooh, Spice Girls. Perhaps. I don't think you're ready for this day. I don't think you're ready for this day. I don't think you're ready for this. And my body too bootylicious for you, babe. Yes! Wow. Yep. Blue scat. And then it gets kicks in and then it goes into the whole scat section. It's really great. I How like can you scat with your hands and shower at the same time? They're so You're gonna have to come visit me to find out. <laughs> I don't know if it's a song as much as it is an arrangement of, of words. Um, I like big butts and I cannot lie. Go to, oh, my usual go to uh, shower song it tends to be something of, you know, um, <laughs> There's always, you know, a uh, 
a Beatles song in there, maybe I Wanna Hold Your Hand I wanna hold you is in there I sometimes. Wanna. Oh yeah. Um, even like, I'm very few, sometimes there's like a, you know, Tom Petty song, I'm Free Falling, <laughs> but every once in a while, um, you know, Party in the USA might slip in there. Party in the USA! Party in the USA! Okay, sorry. <laughs> one I usually just have my iPod playing. I don't have a go-to, but... Obi, you don't sing in the shower? I don't... I don't sing in the shower. Steven, shower songs. I don't. I don't have a shower song. You guys all suck. So nobody in stage management has a shower song. I think it's because they don't shower. Oh! Hi, Broadway.com. So, I've got my Wicked coffee mug with a lot of coffee in it. Nick Blameyer has his Godspell mug with a lot of coffee in it, which means that it's half hour and we got to get ready to do the show soon. But um, before I leave you, I just want to remind you to keep sending your questions to Ask Godspell on Twitter, and um, we will get to as many questions as we can. And um, before I go, actually, I wanted to share with you a su another surprise visitor that we had at the theater today. Stephen Nathan, the original Jesus from the original Broadway cast of Godspell, swung by today. He was en route to Europe for business. He had to stop by New York and he wanted to swing by the Circle of the Square Theater and he caught us while we were at rehearsal and it was such a treat to get to meet him. He's going to be back in a few weeks to see the show, but um, I think it's so cool that that the revival cast is meeting some of the original Broadway cast members from Godspell. and. Um, Anyway, we're going to have to give a, a special shout out to Steven who stopped by today. And thank you for stopping by. And we can't wait for you to come and see our show. But Broadway.com, time for me to go and be on Broadway and do the show. So I'll see you later. Bye, guys. See you next week.